Good morning. Here are your morning announcements for Tuesday, February 25th on Raven Tavern. The final regular season games for JV, Varsity, and Girl Squad happened this weekend. Next will be final tournaments. The magic number of the day is 38. That means seniors had 38 days left to meet the requirements for graduation. So by May 14th, you would need to meet these goals in order to graduate on May 29th. Check with your counselor to be sure you're on track to graduate. Well, you need to have specific requirements to be able to graduate. And if you don't have them, come graduation day, you don't get to walk. So it's very important to look ahead and be prepared and make sure you're checking them off as you go through the school year so that you, and when, when graduation day comes, you are ready to go. And um, you don't want to wait to the last minute because if that happens, you may be out of luck. Time may be out. So it's really important to be prepared and know exactly what you need. So the graduation requirements for the class of 2020 are Students must meet all state testing requirements by earning 18 points overall. And in those 18 points, they have to have at least four points in English 1 and English 2 combined. In Algebra 1 and Geometry combined, they also need to have four points. And in combining Biology, U.S. History, and Government, they have to have six points. So students must have two attempts on all EOC tests and provide their counselor with two alternative pathways. In addition to testing, you need to have credits. You need four credits of English. English 9, English 10, English 11, and English 12. You also need four credits of math. Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and Pre-Calculus, or you have the option of taking Bridge Math. For science, you need three credits, physical science, biology, and chemistry. Social studies, you also need three credits, world history, U.S. history, and government and economics. You need a half credit of physical education, a half credit of health, and one full credit of fine arts. In addition, you'll need to complete your capstone project. Finally, you will need a letter of acceptance of some kind. It can be from college, a trade school, a community college, or from an employer saying that you've been offered a position at their company on business letterhead, or you can have an acceptance letter to the military. Students will need to meet all of these requirements and have at least 20 credit hours. 20 is the big number. Students will need to earn additional credits in elective courses to make up to those 20. So make sure you get 20 credits and good luck. Should you take the ACT? Here's Ms. Vineyard with another reason. Why should you take the ACT? Here are the top 10 reasons. Number five, there is no penalty for guessing, so you can just go for it. And on March 10th, all juniors have the opportunity to take the ACT here at Dawn Community High School if you so choose. There you go. Baseball practice has started Monday through Thursday at Fitness, 3 to 5. There's still time to come out for the team. Contact Coach Ward for details. Track is coming back to Don. Girls and boys practice begin March 3rd. Contact Coach Ward for details. Don will be hosting its very first blood drive sponsored by Hawksworth Blood Center. This event will be held on March 10th from 8 to 2. Students and staff will be encouraged to participate. Students must be 16 years old with parental consent. See your counselor to sign up or click on www.hotworth.org slash groups slash dine to sign up. Snacks and free Bluetooth speakers will be given to donors. This is Black History Month. Today is our Black History Celebration, 1 p.m. at Fitness. The DCAP program has a bunch of surprises and other Don staffers will perform as well. For lunch today, we're having chicken sandwich, steamed greens, mixed vegetables, pears, and a second fruit choice and a choice of milk. Those are your announcements for today. Make a difference today. Make someone smile. Make it a great day at Don.